Linda Hegarty has lived in Grana Braher for 25 years with her four children. Uh, she contacted me recently about the poor condition that her house is in. And um, yeah, so I went to see her and we had a chat. What are the problems with the house? There's no hot water. No hot water at all? At all. No hot water. Right. No heating. Um, no internal doors. It's damp. Very there's, a door, there's a door here, I can see it. Yeah, that Sorry. I got for Christmas. Okay. I, I put that in myself. Okay. Um, what else? The dampness. It, it's damp as well. Very damp. Very cold in the winter. Yeah. Really cold. Did you approach the council? I did. You did? Yeah. What did they say? That it's up to me, my responsibility to fix it. Yeah. But in my position at the moment, I can't. I can't afford to do that. You're a single parent. Yeah. You're trying to... Do my best. Feed and clothe mm -hmm. four kids here. Um, it's right around September yeah. when they're going back oh to school. Oh my God. Th th this time of year is worse than Christmas for me. I know. Do you know what I mean? Know. Getting them back to school, the clothes, the books. Yeah. It's, it's a nightmare. It's and then nightmare. like you, you don't want them to let them down. I know. It's, it's yeah. tough in there in the schools, you know. Yeah. So you you try to get do your best from mm. as much as I can. Right? You can only do your best. So this is the little um, electric stove, uh, folks. You know, we've all seen one of these before. They don't put out a whole lot of heat. They are. It's a it's a room heater stove basically. So it'll it'll heat the room, but it's no good for the house. So. Uh, and there's a there's a, a door opening here folks that's um look obviously there's no there's no door in it um there hasn't been a door in it for years and it doesn't look uh, i don't know it might hold the door but yeah so look you know even if there was adequate heating here um you need a door to keep the heat in you know otherwise the heat's just gone up the stairs and out through the roof. Alright folks, this is the master bedroom. And we've got Linda's bed. Linda sleeps with her daughter in this bed here. And her 13 year old son sleeps here. So folks, like for, for 2022 is the year, okay, where we're... You know, supposed to be a modern country, right? And we've got our own citizens um, sleeping in conditions like this. Like, there isn't even room to walk down the side of the bed. You probably you probably have to crawl over the bed and jump out the bottom. You know, so this this is insane. So that was Linda's story, guys. Um, as you can see from the video, the condition of our house is. You know it's not great um she's got no heating no hot water there's doors missing there's a uh, a broken window on the front that the, the corporation or the the city council uh, won't fix and you know there's serious overcrowding she's sharing a room with her 13 year old son and her 11 year old daughter um that's just not good enough in this country at the moment when we're taking in um you know hundreds of thousands of people that we just don't have room and resources for. Um, if anyone out there has a wood burning stove that they don't need anymore, then Linda could really use it. Um, she's also short a couple of doors, guys. Um, I'll post the dimensions of the doors um, on my social media there soon. Right, and if anyone has any couple of doors lying around the place, I'll pick them up off you and I'll install them in the house. Um, yeah, so talk to you soon.